In biomedical animation, one of the things you frequently have to do is to have some sort of surface releasing particles, like a cell upregulating something onto the membrane, or a case like this where you've got a synaptic uh, or a, a neuronal bouton releasing neurotransmitters into a synaptic cleft. And you can see here that I've got the surface reacting as if it's sort of fluid, like there are vacuoles emitting these particles. And like I say, this has always been a bit of a pain. Uh, use, we've had to use booleans or uh, blend shapes, or things like that to, to make this work. And it's usually kind of a one-off. Uh, it's hard to make it a procedural thing. But thanks to MASH, the best thing that since sliced bread um, has been added to Maya, it makes some of these things easier. So this is a tutorial. Um, adapted from something that was released by the creator of MASH, Ian Waters, I think. Uh, and he's got great tutorials. And so thank you for this, but I'm going to show how I'm using it in this case. So let's create all of this from scratch. I'm just going to delete everything except for this profile curve. And it's important to create this from scratch for you to see because uh, you need the history on these objects. I think I've had trouble getting it to work unless I keep history on everything. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong or if you find a more efficient way to do it. But if we go to surfaces and we're going to revolve this thing, I've got it set to polygons, control points, always reversed. Thank you, Maya. So mesh display reverse. Now we're going to smooth this thing out, but with a real smooth. So we'll go to mesh and smooth and give it three let's say I think four might be better for what we're trying to do maybe even five but let's just stick to four for now um, and now essentially what we're going to use in mash are these two things here not under create a mash network but under utilities mash has its own blend deformer so it makes a blend shape that uh, has all the mash controllers we're also going to use a jiggle deformer to make it look a little bit more fluid. If you haven't looked in this little utilities menu, it's incredible. There's some great stuff in here. Okay, so anyway, uh, as you might expect with a blend deformer, it needs another shape to blend too. So we'll take this and let's name it appropriately. We'll call this bouton and say it all French. Um, and then we could duplicate this just normally, but we're going to go in and go to duplicate special to make sure we have duplicate input graph turned on. By default, that won't be on, but if we turn that on, then it will be on, and we'll just duplicate special. So this duplicates all the history that went into making this thing. So now you can see we've got another profile curve. We've got bouton one. We'll call this bouton target, so we don't get confused. And now we want to scale this down because we want it to be the target shape this thing tries to assume when particles go through the surface. So it's got to be a little bit smaller than the actual bouton. Now we could just scale it, but um, that would just scale about this point here. Um, instead, a better way to do this instead of scaling is to right click with the target selected and go to sculpt. So, you know, you can sculpt, you know, using the brush like this. I've got it on push in and I have the max displacement set to 0.25, you know, whatever. Instead of painting the surface, we're going to click flood. Now it looks like it just disappeared, but it didn't. Well, it did, but it didn't. So if we go into four, we can just see it's actually been pushed in. I'm using my hands to indicate this. You can't see this. It's been pushed in equally. Uh, all distances from the surface. So that's a better way to scale this. Okay, great. So I am going to save as before something terrible happens. Okay, so now we want to select the outer bouton and go to mash and I'll praise mash and go to mash utilities, create blend deformer. Fantastic. Nothing seems to have happened. We'll go into the blend deformer, blend value, nothing happens. Well, it needs a blend mesh to connect to. So we can just middle mesh drag bouton target over to that. And now when the strength goes up, it assumes that shape. So far, so good. But we want to 
have that happen only in certain areas and that's where in MASH you have the power of the fall off object. So down here in the menu I can click, right click and say create. Scale this down and move this fall off object. Now we go to five mode. What's it doing? It's doing crazy things. Well, it took me a while to figure this out, but if you double click on the fall off object here in the blend deformer node, it'll open this up. So the shape is a sphere, normal inner zone. That's the shape of this. Um, under additional settings, the component type is face. It's got to be switched to vertex. Then all of a sudden, so you can see it deforming the shape to match the shape of the underlying thing. So this in itself is a fantastic thing. I can imagine using this for in a million settings. Anyway, let's keep moving. So now we are going to create the particles. So to do that, I'm just going to create a plane. And I'm going to have these emit particles. Let's delete the history on this thing. Uh, particles. This isn't about creating particles, but we'll just do emit from object. Vacuole emit. Yes, yes, yes. Create. And I'm going to take my nucleus node and make gravity go up. Just there's a million ways you could do this. And then if I go back into my fall off object, the shape is a sphere, but you also have connections down here, shape in, and we want to connect our newly created particle into that onto this area here. So now our little thingy, our fall off object disappears. But if I go in and turn up my emission rate, which is probably very low, yes, and play the animation, there are my little particles going through the surface and making it deform. Okay, so let's change these particles to multi points. And Arnold renders these, thankfully, if you want to use these. So the multi radius, so we can tighten it up and number of points in there. So we get like a little burst of neurotransmitter. Oh, where'd that one come from? Um, so now these things are too big, so we can go into the fall off object here and change the size of the inner zone. So you can see that changing. So it's quite low. And we can also change the size of the custom shape radius here. Okay, so let's say something like that. It's a little bit big. I'm going to make it smaller. Right, so that's good. Nice tiny little things. So let's play. Maybe too small. There, that's better. Nice. Okay, so now we just want to do the last thing, which is add the mash utilities jiggle deformer just to give it that little extra something something you know so now uh okay let's find that thing it's usually beside the blend shape deformer yes the jiggle deformer so now let's turn this up oh, jeez why did i do that uh jiggle copy tab so we just have it up here and deselect this is with the jiggle deformer turned on it's kind of hard to see you can see it bounces back out a little bit. So we can turn this up, turn this up. So just turn up all the things, normal strength, directional jiggle, strength, you know. Oh yeah. Look at that. Easy. Well, there you go. Easy way to make little vacuoles emit neurotransmitter transmitters transmitters from the synapse thank you mash i'm bowing you can't see it i'm bowing <laughs>